Professor Ivanova, Maria, you are in a way perhaps the person who we need to listen to the most because you teach <laughs> international governance. What's your reactions to what you've heard and any uh, lessons that you'd like us to take away with us at the end of this session? Thank you. I, I like how you framed it, that uh, you need to listen to me the most. Um, I have to say this is the most difficult talk I have ever given because I see all of your backs. I have never given a talk facing people's backs. I always see their faces. So uh, actually my heart goes out to you because you're in this, in this reality day in and day out and how do you communicate? So um, listen to me now with your back or, or, or your ears, but uh, <laughs> here is what I have to say. <laughs> I'd like to engage with three, with three comments from South Africa, from Kenya, and from, from Zambia. The delegate from South Africa said very eloquently and, and concisely, policies are statements of intent. And indeed, then the, the, the Kenyan representative said policymakers should engage with academia. And this is exactly the, the interface where we could engage of making those statements of intent bolder and more realistic at the same time. That academics can go to the ground, but academics can go into the clouds. And we are able to bridge those realities in ways that, that are somewhat somewhat contradictory even. Our students are demanding to go onto the ground, to engage on the ground. And we as researchers think about the blue sky and what is possible, but yet with, if we engage with policymakers, we're always pulled back and say, okay, what is possible, but also what is feasible right now? We need that push as academics, and we don't get it enough. We don't get enough interaction with, with policymakers, and I would welcome that in, in more sustainable and systematic uh, fashion. And I want to just share with you very briefly that I am very honored to serve on the UN Secretary General's new scientific advisory board that he created and announced at the first session of this panel in September. And that's the purpose, is to engage scientists into the policymaking at that high level. And then the delegate from Zambia on the nomenclature. So I would like to, I completely agree with, with that concern, and I'd like to offer just one thought. What we need is baselines. We need baselines across, and we need baselines within the sectors, whatever those sectors are, whether they're disciplines or whether they're the economy, the environment, and equity, social sector. We need baselines within the sectors, and we need baselines across the sectors. And I think that can help us create a common terminology, a common nomenclature. It can also help us create a common vision. And then we can work on creating the necessary capacity, the incentives, and the necessary leadership. And uh, just want to leave you with this thought. For institutions to take leadership, the individuals in the institutions need to take leadership. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Professor.